guys, it's Kate. Welcome to Copern to a Narcissist 101. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Guys, so this topic is uh, uh, four things or four key things that to um, help you when you have the urge <laughs> to want the, uh, the new supply. You know, when you're trying to fight the urge to want the new supply, these are four things you need to remember. I know out of uh, it might be out of you looking out for that other person to say, okay, let me let them know this is how it's going to go down because this is what they did over there to me. Or it just could be like, you know, since they messed up your life by, you know, discarding you or, you, you know, really you finally you understanding what happened and you're pissed off about it. So you want to mess up whatever relationship before that they get into. Whatever the reason is that you're trying to get hold of the new supply to give them the whatever that you need to give them to help them, you know, maybe them leaving the new the covert narcissist or whatever. These are some of the things that will help you, you know, when that urge comes in uh, to, to at least to remember these things, you know, to know if you really need to proceed with that or not. One of them is that at this point, when they discarded you or when you escape and they jumped into that relationship. Remember, this is this 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 particular point is the covert nurse's greatest performance. This is the only one is going on. The covert nurse's greatest performance is going on here. This is the love one phase. This is when they are going above and beyond. You know, they, they will never act this way <laughs> um, as the relationship progresses, obviously. But so this is the height of their performance. So trying to warn somebody over here when they are doing their best work, the covert nurse is doing their best work, it is pointless. It is pointless because if you remember with you how that went, Nothing is is nothing is ever wrong on in this stage. You, that person can do no wrong. So now having you come over to tell them whatever it is that is happened over in your relationship uh, to warn this person, now nah, that's that's not going to happen because the covert narcissist. This is the covert narcissist's uh, uh, best performance going on. Number two is you on your own need all your time. When you come out of this relationship and the time that was wasted trying to figure these people out. The time that was wasted trying to work with them uh, to resolve whatever it is. The last thing you need to do is to now invest your time over in the recovered nurses again and whatever it is they got going on. So you need all your time because you need all your time to make sense of what happened, which probably will not make any sense. <laughs> you need all your time to self-reflect. You need all your time to get yourself together and be it financially, be it uh, uh, emotionally. Uh, you need all that time so this is not a time to be trying to uh, play the rescue uh somebody here Th that is not this it's that, no you need your time this you need your time they've already took enough of your time so whatever time you need to invest this is time to invest invest in yourself because the whole time you are with them you and i know that everything revolves around them all you're doing is trying to okay how am i going to make sure that in the best mood ever that's all you're not even thinking about yourself it's just how do we make sure that covert narcissist stays in, in whatever particular mood that you want them to stay in, you know? So number three is chances that the other, the, the new supply is another toxic person. <laughs> it is another toxic person. So now you go in there to link up or expose yourself, you will, because when you contact them, obviously, if they don't know who you are before, or they might know who you are before, we, you know, we never know because the covert narcissist in their relationship while they're with you. So we don't know how long the new supply is, you know, have been there with them. So if you reach out to this person and he's another toxic person, now you've linked up with another toxic person that uh, you just came out of one. Now you have another person, another toxic person in, 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 in the form of a new supply. That most definitely is not what you need coming out of the relationship with the covert narcissist. So no, you don't you don't waste your time going over there to warn this person because you might end up with another toxic individual who would probably start playing another set of mind games in a different way that may you may or may not catch. That is absolutely not what you need. Of course, number four is you going in there might um, create the bond that they need. They might bond over you. Because like I said in the first point, the covert narcissist, this is the greatest performance of the covert narcissist going on right now. So when you in, in, inject yourself in there somehow, and this new supply obviously follows up with the covert narcissist and says, okay, they said they did this and did that. I don't want any part of that, blah, 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 blah. And of course, the covert narcissist will act the greatest performance, Oscar-worthy performance for them. And then they come back and they say, oh, you are, you are the enemy. 
it must be you you have to be the enemy so they bond over you and, the, and what, what ends up happening is that why they bond over you now they focus their aim now <laughs> two of them is to uh make sure to you not become the outlet that they push things over instead of focusing on their relationship you know so they now they, they bond over you you are the one that they're focusing on these are the one together they come together you know they come together to fight you while the relationship is over there whereas if you weren't there they will easily move from that love on phase to the next phase because obviously it's going to go to the next phase. But if you're there, you know, acting like you're trying to want a new supply and then now they decided, okay, now you see, she is a, she or he is the enemy. Now they bond over that. Delaying the, the, the progression, if you will, of the, the relationship over there. You know, so that's things that you need to keep in mind when you have the urge to want the new supply you feel like you're doing a good thing you feel like you know you really want to mess them up because they messed you up you know with different in different ways when the relationship end them keep in mind you know keep these things in mind at least remember these things to know if this is something you really need to proceed with is this something that you just need to you know let them have it because one thing we know is the governance is consistent they cannot follow the same not follow the same uh, uh route in terms of relationship as they normally do all right guys get a hold of your mind and everything's falling into place like and share take care